long time no talk. I'm going to be talking to you about the 10 new fragrances that were sent to me by Scentsy. I did pay for them, but I was able to order them a little bit early. Um, and I will give them to you sort of like in least liked order so that I will end with my top three. How does that sound? Okay, cocoa lime is supposed to be coconut milk, creamy vanilla, citrusy splash of fresh lime. All I smell is lime. I don't smell the vanilla. I don't smell the coconut. For some reason, it reminds me of lemon for verbena. Don't know why. It actually really reminded me of Lime Sublime, if you remember that scent from many, many years ago. It it was okay, but it was like, wait, it, there was a, a very strong bite. I'm stumbling over my words now. There was a very strong bite to it. This would be okay in a bathroom or even in a kitchen to cover up terrible scent, but it wasn't the most... Um, wasn't relaxing in any way, and it wasn't like something that I would go for. Okay, if that makes any sense. Mineral Oasis is described as dewy seagrass and blooming osmanthus drift across dreamy turquoise waters. Now, I've got a computer right in front of me, and I don't care what osmanthus is, so I'm not even going to look it up. This wax was boring the hell out of me, and I had to take it out of my warmers. I smelled nothing. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's okay. If you, if you hold that shit right up against your face, this is not Scentsy caliber, in my opinion. This is any other scent that you can get at Target, Walmart, anything like that. Wasn't even like gonna be covering up any scent. It's just kind of boring. Just kind of didn't like it. Let's go with Berry Bright. That was actually one of the first ones that I warmed. It did remind me a lot of Candy Crave. If you guys remember Candy Crave from last year, two years ago, something like that. Blue raspberry and fresh clementine light the way to sweet sugar plum. I don't smell the uh, clementine. I do smell the blue raspberry a little, and I smell the sweet plum, but it almost smells like there's cotton candy in there too. I liked this a lot when I first put it in my warmers, but then it was gone in like two hours. So this is not a long lasting, but it is a very strong performer, but only for a very short amount of time. Boring is going to be the uh, theme for this catalog season, only because I'm not into the spring and summer scents. I like the fall and winter stuff much better. Here comes the sunflowers. Here comes the sunflowers is described as sun-kissed petals and fruity musk celebrate all things spring with a sweet pop of strawberry. I don't smell musk. I smell petals, sort of. There's gonna be a cat jumping up off the table in a second. I smell petals, kind of, and I smell strawberry, kind of, but oh my. I used uh, four cubes in my bedroom, and like three or four hours later, I smelled nothing. So, yeah, that one's going up there. Okay, let's go over to hibiscus pineapple. Now, I can't give you a 100% true opinion about this because I put this in my warmers and, I, and an hour later, I was gonna say a year later, an hour later my kid made bacon. <sighs> but that was now five hours ago and I still only smell bacon. Uh, and we had all the windows open. Mandarin, coconut, and a touch of warm sandalwood. That's what this is supposed to be. That sounds like it's right up my alley. It's way, way floral. The sandalwood isn't enough there. It, there's a lot of coconut. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, which is ironic that I'm going to show you something else in a second, which is like one of my favorites. Um, I don't know. Uh, just uh, This is anything that you can get at Bath and Body Works, Target, Walmart. It's so boring. It's Glade. It's, it's Airwick. It's Febreze. There's Mouse. Mouse is coming. Okay. All right. Let's go with Rainbow Sherbert. I know it's pronounced... Well, is it? It's pronounced Sherbert, but it's spelled Sherbet? I don't know. Whatever. We'll say sherbet just because that's the way it's spelled. Rainbow sherbet, sherbet is supposed to be the orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime zing that you get with rainbow sherbet. If you took the red, which this one says it's strawberry, sugared strawberry, I think that it's raspberry. If you took the red sherbet and you mix it with vanilla ice cream, that's what you smell here. This smells amazing. And it makes you taste it. It makes your mouth water, but I don't think I'm gonna buy this for myself just because it um, it's very kitschy and I'm not into the food sense quite so much, you know what I mean? I enjoyed it, but I it's it's not in my it's not in my thing. Okay. Anyway. 
Peach Nectar was a close runner-up to be hitting inside my top three, okay? So it's gonna be in the top four. <laughs> peach Nectar is described as peach skin, blue freesia, and billowy musk clouds. I loved what, the way this smelled. I put three cubes in my office surrounding me with this scent while I was working. It was fantastic, but it did not travel. It lasted to a degree, but in my little office, once you walked out of the office, you didn't smell anything. It didn't bleed into any other rooms. So this did not have a very far scent throw, but while you were sitting next to the warmers, it smelled great. Okay, let's get into my top three. Iridescent Pearl. Lustrous layers of ripe, juicy mango and apple blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus. I did a post about this one on Facebook and I ended up selling a couple of ours. This was nice. I had this in the warmer sitting next to me. I was enveloped in it. It was beautiful. I love it. Just the perfect amount of like water lotus. Uh, that aquatic, it, it's not all aquatic and it's not all fruit. It's just like a couple of, you know, like somewhere in between with the apple blossom. Mm, mm, mm. Iridescent pearl, I recommend it to everybody. Everybody. Mahalo coconut. This one surprised me. I didn't think I was going to like it at all. And it's my top two. So the second from the top. Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fresh fruity pineapple. Now, that doesn't have any coconut in it. That description doesn't have any coconut in it. But that little bit of pineapple is fantastic. I like it when Sensi puts just a little pineapple in something. Pineapple pucker? No. Pineapple sorbet? No. But like pineapple coconut vanilla, oh yeah. And this, Mahalo Coconut. I love this and I love Violet. So there you go. Mahalo Coconut, my absolute favorite, which surprised the shit out of me, is Chili Mango. I really thought that I was gonna hate this and I actually absolutely love it. I'm probably gonna be buying a six pack of it. Described as just sliced mango and juicy peach go a little rogue with a sassy hint of chili. Now, this is heady. I used too much. I put four cubes into a small-ish room and it was a little much. But I opened up a window and two or three hours later, it was perfect. And I'll tell you right now, two or three days later, it was still going. This one lasts and it changes as it goes. It's not chilly. It doesn't smell like, you know, somebody just, you know, cooked a pot of beans in your house or anything like that. It's a perfect balance. Chili mango is my top out of all 10 of these fragrances. And there's a little bit of wax there. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can go to metalcomom.sensi.us and buy any of these. These are $6 each. Buy five, get the six for free. You can also buy three and get a dollar off. You can message me if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.